Hello, welcome to this the tutor. In this video, we will be looking at the 2017 GCE paper 1. Question 1 simplify 2a minus 7b minus 2 open bracket a minus 3b cross bracket. So there we are going to answer this question. We are simplifying. So first we need to expand what is uh, in the bracket. So we have 2a minus 7b. Then we need to multiply that one to a negative by negative becomes positive uh, 6b then from there we need to collect the like terms the like terms we have 2a minus 2a minus 7b plus 6b now 2a minus 2a is actually 0 a negative 7b plus 6 is actually negative b and that was supposed to be the answer Question 2 says factorize completely x squared over 4y squared minus 1 over 9. Now we are going to use difference of two squares. x is a square and the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of y squared is y minus square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 9 is 3. They need to write the same just changing the sign like that factorized Question 3 says given that matrix 2 95 x1 is being multiplied by 4 3 which is equal to 14 and negative 7 17 sorry find the value of x so we need to multiply this matrix by the, the other matrix so we're saying 2 times 4 2 times 4 plus x times 3 so we are saying x times 3. This is, is, is equal to 14 and negative 17. Then we have negative 5 times, so that's negative times 1 plus 1 times 3. Now we are only interested in the part that contains x. So we are getting that as an equation. So we are going to say. Mm, 2 times 4 is actually 8 then 3 times x is actually 3x which is equal to 14 plus saying 3x is equal to 14 minus 8 so 3x so 14 minus x is 6 so over 3 over 3 so our value of x will be 2 Question 4 says two teams are geometrically similar if the ratio of their volume is 27 to 68. Find the ratio of their curved surface areas. Now, here what you have been given is volume. Therefore, the ratio of volume is 27 to 64. Hence, what we need to do is to find the, uh, this is the ratio of volumes, by the way. So we need to find the ratio of sides. And the ratio of sides, you know, if this is volume, we need to find the cube root of 27 and the cube root of um, 64 and the cube root of 27 is 3 and the cube root of 64 is 4 so this is the ratio of sides now the ratio of areas we are going to square them area remember is squared so we're going to say this is 9 to 16. question 5 says given that vector a is equal to 3 negative 4 find the magnitude of vector a now to find the magnitude of vector a we are saying x squared plus y squared. This 3 is x and this 4 is y. So we are saying x is 3 squared and we've got t plus negative 4 squared, which is going to give us is equal to 3 squared is 9 plus 16, which gives us the square root of 25. Hence, this is equal to 25, sorry, 5 units. Six says on the Venn diagram in the answer space below, shared the region defined by A complement intersect B union C. Now, what it means by being A complement? It means the elements not found in A. Not found in A. We only want elements found in B union C. And B union C is this side, this area. like that.
just that. So seven says for the sequence 11, 13, 15, 17, find the 13th term. So to find the 13th term, we are saying, so 13th term is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. And A is our first term, which is, th which is 11. And D is the common difference. We can say 13 minus 11, not going to give us 2. Therefore, A is 11 plus N is 13, the 13th term minus 1. D is 2. So we're having 11 plus 13 minus 1 is 12 times 2, which will give you 11 plus 12 times 2 is 24. So um, 24 plus um, 11, that will give you 35. Then B says, if the arithmetic mean of 5 and C is 11, what is the value of A, C? Take this for example. If you have A, B, C, arithmetic mean is actually B. So if I have 5, C, and 11, sorry. Uh, if I have uh, 5 and C alone, eh? then they are saying, what is the mean of, uh, sorry, they have given us the mean. Now they want us to find the value of C. That means 5, there's 11 somewhere, then they see. So what to do is, you say this 11 is the mean, and to find the mean, we are saying it's 5 plus C over 2. That is 2 times 11, that is 22, is equal to 5 plus C. Hence, C will be, will be equal to, C will be equal to, so let me write it here, C will be equal to 22 minus 5, which will give us 22 minus uh, um, minus 5, that should give, give you 17. Question 8 says, if A transpose is equal to 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4, 5, write down matrix A. So what, what, what they mean by transpose is they swapped the, uh, the order of the matrix. Laws became columns and columns became laws. So therefore our matrix A is is 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4, and 5. This is 3. Find the derivative of 2x to the power 3 minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 with respect to x. To find the derivative, in short, they are saying you need to find the differentiation. So dy dx of this is equal to 2 uh, let, let me write it here where there's uh, in, uh, enough space so dy dx is equal to so when we're differentiating you are, you decrease the power and multiply by the odd power so it will be 3 times 2 x to the power 2 you decrease the power and you multiply it by the odd power minus 2 times 2 x to the power 1 so you can just leave it minus 3 x goes away because x is going to have a power of 0 and anything less to the power 0 is actually 1 so 1 times 3 gives you 3 therefore this gives you 6 x squared minus 4 x minus 3 that is your derivative given that the universal set is equal to 1 up to 8 Set A is 1, 8. Set B is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. List set A union B complement. Now, what A union B complement means elements not found in A union B. Now, first take, what is A union B? That's the thing which you need to, to determine first. What is A union B? Look at A. A, there's 1 and 8. And B is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, we've got also 8 from A. Now, they, they're saying complement. Elements not found in here. What are those? We don't have. So, A union B complement is actually an empty set. So, it's actually an empty set, or you can say an empty set, like that. Question 
we say solve the equation 25 to the power x is equal to 5. So these are indices. So you need to have the same basis. And to raise to have the same base as this, you can raise 25, you can raise 5 to the power 2. Like that. Sorry for that. Which you will be equal to 5 to the power 1 there, remember. And then you can cancel this and this. And you can say 2x is equal to 1, hence x will be equal to 1 over 2. Then a, a soccer match kicked off at 14 hours at A. So we have at A, the soccer was at 14 hours. Then at B, what will be the kick off time of the soccer match at B? At B, we don't know. Now, all what we know that are the coordinates. We need to find the difference between A and B in terms of coordinates. So A, we have 20 north, and we have 30 degrees east. Then B, we have 20 degrees north and 15 degrees west. Find the difference in uh, longitude. So these two places are in different, hems different hemispheres. So we can see here to give you zero because they're in the same hemisphere there, but here they're in different longitudes. So add uh, 30 plus 15, that will give you 45 degrees difference in uh, longitude. Degrees, sorry, it's supposed to be degrees on top. Therefore, we have the difference in degrees. So we can say one hour in terms of degrees is actually 15 degrees. So we're trying to find the number of hours it is going to take uh, from 14 hours to go to B. And uh, we are having uh, here is 45 degrees. So we cross multiply, we'll be having 15x is equal to 45 over 15 over 15 and x will be equal to 3 hours. So we know that 3 hours. Eh? Now look at uh, the position of A and B. When you look at B, um, B is on the west side, not on the east. So now, like they say, as you are going, as you are approaching the east part, time increases. As you are approaching the west part, time decreases. So we are since B is on the west side, and as you are going to, to the west, time decreases. We are saying it will be 14 minus 3. That is going to give us 13. Sorry, 11, 11 hours. So at A, it will be 11 hours. Question 2 says two towns P and Q are on the same long longitude. So we can do just do a, a quick sketch. So let's say P is there and uh, Q is there. And this is 40 degrees north. This one we don't know x we can call it q then we know that this line is 15 degrees west therefore we know that the coordinate for p which have been given already is 40 uh, sorry, not neutral, no, and uh, 15 degrees west and um, let's call this sorry not q but x on position Q with uh, X, which we don't you know. So we need to find X, which they are asked to find. And they are on the same longitude, so we know that it's like that. So you know that since they are in the same, in the, on the same longitude, you need to take just into consideration this. So this would be, we know that they are in different terms here, so we need to add 40 plus X. Now we know that distance is equal to Theta times is 60 degrees. So therefore, we have distance as 7,200, which will be equal to. Theta is the difference in longitude, which we are going to get this one, which we said it is 40 plus x times 60. So we can say this side you divide by 60. This side you divide by 60. So you can cancel that and cancel that. You remain with. So 60 into uh, 60 into 700, 7,200, you are going to have 120. So we are saying 
40 plus x is equal to 120. So therefore, we are saying x is equal to 120 minus 40. Hence, x is equal to 80. Therefore, the coordinates of q are 80, 80 degrees south and 15 degrees west. Like that. A die and a coin are rolled and tossed respectively. What is the probability of getting a five and a tail? Now we know that a die has got six sides. So six sides. A coin has got two sides. So this is a die. Uh, two sides. Coin. So the probability of getting a a five from a a die is actually. Mm, is just one over six and the, pro the probability of getting a tail from a coin just one over two so that and means multiplication are saying one over six times one over two which is one over twelve given that x is equal to three point two times three to the power four and y is equal to four times three to the power three to, to, to the power two sorry Evaluate x my x over y. So you have x as 3.2 times 3 to the power 4 over y is 4 times 3 squared. So we can evaluate that and say, say same as 3.2 times 3 to, 3 to the power 4 is 81 over 4. 3 to the power 2 is 9. So this and that we can say that is 9, that is 1. So we're having 3.2 times 9 over 4. So 3.2 times 9 is actually 28.8 over 4. Hence, we are saying this is 7.2.